by far my favorite Star Wars film is Empire, and one of my favorite scenes is the Minoc hunt. So when one of my favorite scenes was made in one of my favorite form factors, not just three and three-fourth figures, but a cinema scene, and we'll get to how cool they were in a moment, well, it was a joyful time in Star Wars collecting. I'm Scott Toy Guru Knight, like I've been in the toy industry for quite a while, uh, and I'm also a collector of toys. So this is a look at the Star Wars Power of the Force 2 Minoc Hunt. And if you're anything less than a rabid toy collector, you may be scratching your head and saying, what's a Minoc Hunt and why does Chewbacca have a giant vacuum coming out of his nose? All right, well, remember the scene from Empire Strikes Back when everyone on the Falcon is escaping from, the, from Darth Vader through the asteroid field, and we all know Han Solo is an absolute terrible parker and can't choose a spot, and he winds up parking the Falcon inside of a giant space slug. Okay, it has like a real name, like Exergeist or something, but space slug. Anyway, there's the scene when they all come out of the Falcon because there's something chewing on the power cables, and it turns out to be a Minoc, and then Han shoots one and hits the ground, and they realize they're inside of a space slug, and yada yada yada, they escape. So, the Minoc is that thing that flies by that Han shoots, that he figures out is what's causing the power outages in the Falcon. And that's about all we see of it in the film, plus two throwaway lines. So, if you're saying what's a Minoc, you're not in the minority. And if you're saying what's a Star Wars Power of the Force 2 cinema scene, well, these were really cool skews that were offered in the late 90s that were three packs of themed figures. They were particularly cool because you didn't really get themed waves back then. And they also came with little chunks of Star Wars floor like Cantina and Death Star and Ewok Village. So, yeah, it was great. And I have a lot of fond memories of hunting these down because every time you found one, you got three new figures, not just one. So it was like, you know, an instant half a wave or even a whole wave. So if you found two at once, which did happen. All right, so this pack in particular, Chewbacca, Han Solo, Princess Leia, and a flying bat creature with some accessories. And yeah, the flying bat creature to me was the whole piece de resistance of the set. I was so excited to get a Minoc, and we'll get into that. The figures themselves were just slight modifications of the mainline releases, although in the case of Princess Leia... This one preceded the mainline release. We'll get into that in a moment. But yeah, her arm is in a more outstretched position. Same with Han Solo. Just a slight change from the single card. And thank you to Rebel Scum for these awesome images that they always make available. Because they have a great photo archive. I highly recommend RebelScum.com for all your Star Wars photo needs. Okay, enough of that. So... Yeah, the set was the three of them with removable face masks, which was definitely cool, because that way you could actually, you know, use clear plastic. I think if they were sculpted on, it would have been hard to do that. As I noted, this set premiered Hoth Leia, although in the case of the set, she has the breathing mask on, but we wouldn't get the regular carded single version for, well, not too long. We'll be getting to her soon in this series, but yeah, down the road. But there actually was another way Princess Leia was planned to be released. Well, I guess it wasn't released, but technically is true. You are technically correct. The best kind of correct. So the Star Wars Total Galaxy series, which I actually covered recently on this playlist, channel, etc., was going to have a Hoth Leia in a Hoth globe, but with Wave 1 not meeting sales expectations, this was canceled. All right, so let's get to the actual set. The hunt for the Minoc. All right, why are we hunting Minocs again? And, you know, it's not for food or sport. It's because they were chewing on the power cables. I guess they can survive inside of space slugs in space. And I don't know. It, it, uh, gravity, sounds, whatever. This is a Minoc. These things don't exist in space. There's no sound. There's no air. But I guess Minocs can breathe something. I don't know. It's Star Wars. So yeah, that close-up of the face and this wing is all we get of it in the film, and in fact there's not a single Minoc puppet because it was made up of different parts for different shots. Then there's, of course, plenty of official and fan art showing what the full animal would look like, and, you know, that's kind of part of the fun of Star Wars. But to me, the Minoc represents more than that. It represents what Star Wars was back when I was a child, when everything was on the set. Everything was physical. There was no CGI, so the Minoc was made up of a guy with a weird sheet 
brown thing on a stick, and he would wave it in front of the camera, and that was the Minoc. That's why there's not a full puppet. <laughs> there's this shot, which was just the wing, and then that close-up of the face, which is very interesting because, again, as noted, we got a Minoc toy, but this never actually existed on set, so this is composited based on those two shots. And I do appreciate that they put a suction cup on it so that you could stick it to a window. That is just toy awesomeness right there. I'm surprised we haven't gotten like a super articulated one in the Black series, or not the Blacks, the Vintage Collection without the suction cup. Hmm, make it happen, Hasbro. So, yeah, Minoc, very cool suction cuppy bat-looking creature that, you know, it's got a face you can really love. I don't know why he's not the new baby Yoda. Seriously, right? Come on, Minocs can be cute. We should decorate with them. In fact, it's interesting how few Minoc toys, things we get. They're really are not that many for a sort of pivotal Star Wars creature from the original trilogy and from Empire Strikes Back. Plus, this set, this this concept is such a great way to re-theme three major characters, Leia, Han, and Chewie, that sell really well, and this is one of their signature outfits. It's just with an added change to the face, with the face mask. Uh, Hasbro has taken advantage of this many times, like the Comic-Con premiere of... of uh, Best Ben Han they did a few years ago that came with a Black Series Minoc. There's also been a Bust Series, which again, you know, used a lot of existing parts, but just put on the uh, masks. So very easy way to reissue major characters and make them look slightly different. We haven't had that many, though. We had this Chewbacca that came with the same Minoc from this three-pack. And then we had in the Legacy Series both a Chewbacca and, of course, a Han Solo that both were reissues of previous figures with just one extra accessory, which, again, was the same uh, breathing mask from this set. Just like the Minoc was recycled, so was the breathing mask, because the tool was still around. Hey, yay tool longevity. So that's pretty much the limit to figures based on this scene. Um, you know, I mean, the pack definitely is important because it brought us our first Hoth Leia for Power of the Force 2 for the modern Star Wars figures. But, uh, yeah, she never got another release. Only uh, Han and Chewie got further releases. And then, as far as toys in total, the Minox got, you know, this one, and then it's got the 6-inch Black Series one, which I would totally get if it wasn't exclusive to a show I wasn't at. There was the Micro Machines one, so I guess, you know, that counts. I mean, that's a Minox. And then there was the Lego one. Here's how to put it together if you have all the pieces. But that's pretty much it. That's all the Minoc you're going to get in the toy aisle in your, your toy collection. Maybe I'm forgetting one. I don't know. Let me know in the comments. But, yeah, if you were like me and when you were a little girl, you dreamed of having Minoc figures to play with and have out all this amazing fun, it just wasn't going to happen. It's just an underrated action figure creature. We need more Minoc. Sorry, little girl. <laughs>